Brewery today, where we're talking about uh, the future of cloud accounting and uh, small business in general. Uh, thank you very much for joining me at uh, the Zero Conference, Rod. Right? Uh, this is a great event uh, you've got here. Um, hundreds of uh, partners and exhibitors. Um, uh, great growth over the last few years. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Great to finally meet you. Um, you know, it's been exciting. So this is a third Zero Con we've done in the. Um, Australian market. We think about about 175 the first year, 400 last year, and we're um, I think we've got 900 people coming to the dinner tomorrow night. So it's just huge. Yeah, oh, that's great, great growth there, and uh, you've been seeing that with your um, clients as well. Though you had an announcement today that uh, you've broken a few uh, benchmarks. Yeah, we're up to um, I think at 75,000 customers in the Australian market and 200,000 globally. So, you know, pretty amazing. We only started a few years ago, and I remember the first year our goal was to get 1,000 customers. So yeah. to cross 200,000 is pretty exciting. Mm. And so what are the biggest markets you're seeing internationally? Um, so, so New Zealand now isn't our largest market, so we're doing 60-plus percent now of our revenue offshore. Australia is really um, is just going nuts for us, and it's our, bigger, it's our biggest uh, contributor by revenue, so we've got uh, over 90 staff now here, which is really exciting, and doing quite a lot of software, building a lot of software in um, Australia as well. Got a team about 40 or 50 in uh, the UK that's working nicely, and a uh, really big investment for us over the last year is building up our team in the states. And uh, it's interesting, the uh, if you sort of go from the sort of the day we start in the country, that's our fastest uh, growing market, but still early. So. Um, you know, very excited about what's happening in the market in Oz. Mm, excellent. Now, what one of the taglines that Zero has is uh, beautiful software. So you take real pride in the design there. Uh, tell me more about that. Yeah, so we kind of grew, grew up through the Microsoft and then the um, Apple generation. So, mm. you know, we love things that look nice and are pixel perfect and all of those things. But what's been really nice is I think there's a whole lot of values that come around this as well. So we love the, the fact that in these... Um, ecosystems you're always very aware of leaving value on the table for partners so you know we, we've got a um, over, uh, um, over 270 add-ons now that connect to zero and it's been amazing there's uh, well over 50 presenting out the back here today and uh, just seeing the quality of those companies as they've grown from startups over the last two or three years has been huge and I think we got over 6,000 accounting and bookkeeping partners too and what we've been doing is you know building the tools so they can do great work uh, for their clients as well so yeah. you know it's it, it's um, you know I think there is a is a beautiful way of doing business which is a little bit unexpected in business but if you have that you know core set of values and if you're trying to create value for everybody mm. then it's a, it can be a tide that raises all boats yeah one of the things I noticed with the ecosystem you've got of developers there is a great New Zealand contingent there. So you've got the startup community happening in New Zealand. How's that evolving there? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that, that's been huge. I think because you know we've really got into scale, it's easier and we're a small country, so everybody knows everybody. So we've seen a bunch, a bunch of companies that are exploring that. We've got so many customers. So when they start off their uh, technology businesses, they don't have to build all the marketing and sales costs. Mm. If, if they're smart, they can just work alongside that channel that we've created, and that's been good. The Australian, um, uh, uh, it's been great seeing the Australian partners as well, so they cottoned on to it. Uh, quite early. And one of the really neat things we've seen is a lot of our original Australian accounting and bookkeepers are now moving over to the product side. And mm. so, you know, you go to go to the trade show and there's people who were selling product to um, with their bookkeeping hat on and now they've got their own their own businesses running software. So watching that change has been uh, pretty remarkable as well. Mm. You've seen quite a bit of disruption in the accounting um, industry there. So you're seeing that big change, are you, that uh, the accountants are moving or bookkeepers are moving over into being those uh, app providers or app developers? Um, uh, it's quite a small number who are making that change, but certainly the change is everyone is moving to the cloud. And it's really compelling. And in the old days, um, the small business had the software that they used and they'd install that and get it changed every sort of few years. And then they'd sort of export that data and then the bookkeeper and the accountant would have to get all the files right by this time. But then after a few days, the data's out of sync and it never ever went back and it was all quite broken. So when you get everything into you know one copy of data in the cloud, it's really quite compelling. So our product strategy over the last three or four years has been investing in building the accountants and bookkeeper tools mm. and that's, that has been completely disrupted to the market. You know, the old um, incumbents can't really sell expensive software that's disconnected anymore. That's just a natural change that comes from the cloud. And then we're seeing um, uh, the work practices be quite disruptive as well. And um, 
you know, that means that um, these accountants and bookkeepers can have lifestyle, they can, uh, they, they can operate in different states, even in different countries, um, they have, you know, can spend the weekend with their kids, they can do things on their iPad, they can drop kids off at school. Um, you know, it's really amazing, the technology is not just making them ha uh, do better financially, but they're also getting a bit of lifestyle back as well. Mm. Do you see this as a generational thing? When I talk to a lot of the accountants, it seems to me that it's the under 40s who are really jumping into the cloud, whereas the over 40s are a little bit reluctant about it. Do you see that in zero? Well, well it, it's such a big market, it's hard to sort of make sweeping generalisations, like in sort of the examples from I had drinks last night, I found a few older people in their 50s saying, you know, we were getting a bit bored of the accounting industry, I was thinking I was going to sell my practice, but now I'm fired up about it, they're really exciting. You know, so there's definitely, you know, we're still in the early stages of this change, and uh, those that have seen it, have get it, have gone out and, you know, changed their customers, and people have said, look, we're not, you know, we, we, aren't, we aren't going to support you if you're running desktop software anymore, you have to be on the cloud, because mm -hmm. their, their business, their advisory business is so much better as well. And I think, you know, it's a huge deal having over 900 people at this event so the impact on Australia going back over the next few months as they tell their colleagues the ones they weren't here I think we're going to see a big acceleration in it moving over the next uh, year or so. Right and so what verticals do you see that are really changing uh, because of the cloud computing software? Yeah so, so there's lots of verticals and, and what's, a, what's a very interesting new thing that's coming is we're seeing those verticals where you are connected to large businesses so you kind of see these hub and spoke models so if you take someone like Cole Supermarket They've probably got 2,000 very small suppliers. They've got somebody that drops a pallet of jam off sort of every uh, six weeks or so. Sure. Very expensive for them to deal with all of those companies, and they've always had to sort of different systems. Now there's so many small businesses running in the cloud, effectively it's providing an electronic data interchange platform at scale. So we're seeing a lot of interest now from large businesses seeing how much they can improve their supply chain by now electronically connecting to their small businesses. So, so um, in the early stages of this transition of small business accounting to the cloud, you think you're just sort of changing you know, QuickBooks and MYB uh, for zero, it's actually much more that we're connecting businesses, yeah. and it's not just large businesses. You know, we're connecting the banks. We've got um, uh, uh, Bank West and uh, Macquarie here. We're working with them to build next generation banking web services mm -hmm. to make the interface between um, online banking and online accounting completely seamless. And that's hugely exciting. Huge opportunities to um, uh, to save time. But we're also seeing a lot of interest now. Uh, from government, for example, in New Zealand, uh, we just um, the government's been talking about a 1.5 billion dollar um, uh, um, investment in the new tax system, mm -hmm. and we're saying, well, why would you spend that much money? You're not, you aren't software developers. We have most of the customers now anyway, why don't you just say what the rules are and certify that we can, our software meets those rules and as a private sector we'll invest in building that yeah. and that could save them half a billion dollars on their project. Mm -hmm. So the impact of the cloud is a, is a whole lot different, it's not just um, the next sort of interface of how accounting works, this is a, a fundamental change where everything connects, right. large businesses to small businesses, small to small and business to government as well. Mm. Yes. Great change there. So, where do you see uh, Zero going in the next 12 months to five years? Yeah, well, in the next 12 months, it's all about um, uh, it's about growing. You know, the feedback from everybody is, uh, you know, we're just about there. I mean, we've quickly gone uh, to over 200,000 customers, but um, you know, it's still a big market. We think, you know, the market size in uh, in Australia is somewhere between 1.2 and, and and two million small businesses. So right. we think uh, with all the things layered up, this market gets huge over mm -hmm. the over the next sort of year or two. So you know we've um, um, we've doubled our staff in the last year. Going to keep and keep doing that, and, and then be ready for this big change. Yeah, that's uh, some exciting times ahead. Cool, Rob. Thank you very much for your time there, and uh, have a great time at the conference. Cool. Thanks, Thank Paul. You. Cheers. Uh, thank you very much for joining the Future of Business.